what is up? So today's video, I am super excited for it, but before we get started, I just want to say I am so sorry I've been gone for such a long time. I've just been working on some projects, but now I'm back and I'm so excited to start my summer series and summer videos. But today's video, I'm going to be recreating some Sugar Factory drinks, except a little different. So I don't know if you guys have heard of this really cool restaurant, it's called Sugar Factory, but if you haven't, it's a very cool restaurant that they sell really good food and drinks. They're most known for, for their drinks. So here's some pictures. But the only eating tiny problem is that they're pretty expensive for one drink. So today I'm going to be showing you guys two very inexpensive drinks that you can make for summer. They're super refreshing and super fruity. So yeah, without further ado, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get started. Alright, so for our first drink, we are going to be making a passion fruit and berry hibiscus drink. So it's passion fruit and berry hibiscus tea mixed together. So for this, you're obviously going to need some passion fruit juice, a jar, rainbow twist lollipops, Swedish fish, strawberries, jumbo straws, and umbrella picks, but this is only if you want to make it cute, some dry ice, and very high viscous tea. And, you know the best part, the big jumbo cup, because <laughs> obviously Sugar Factory, they have these type of, like they serve their drinks in this cup, so this is what we're going to be using. So let's get started with the drink. So I'm going to start by pouring in my passion fruit juice. Alright, so now that we've poured in our passion fruit, I'm going to put some ice to divide. I'm going to divide them to divide the two layers. So now, this is my pre-made very hibiscus tea. It's already made and it's cold. So we're just gonna pour some of this in. All right, so now that we have our tea in, I'm going to add some Swedish fish for decoration. And now we're going to cut our strawberry. our straw and one of the really big things at Sugar Factory is to put these lollipops inside so we just put it inside like that give it flavor and be like mixing so now that we have everything in our cup all the tea everything the final touch is dry ice so let's put it in make the passion fruit very high viscous drink but now it is time for the taste test so let's taste this mmm it's perfect it's honestly so perfect the tea makes it taste even better because it doesn't make like the passion fruit juice is very very sweet but the tea makes it just, it's perfect. Like it's really perfect. It tastes so good, so refreshing. And the dry ice just adds such a cool effect to it. I love this drink. It's way better than what I tasted at the Sugar Factory, honestly. And I love it. And you guys should definitely recreate this drink. All right guys, so our passion fruit drink was super good. But now we are going to be making a strawberry lemonade drink with our very high viscous. So obviously for this drink, you're going to be needing some strawberry lemonade, your very high viscous, which mine is already pre-made, strawberries, a lemon, Swedish fish, your straw, your umbrella pick, your rainbow lollipop, normal ice, and dry ice. So let's get started. So we're going to be pouring in our strawberry lemonade. Shake it up. All 
Alright, so now that we have our strawberry lemonade, we're pouring in our berry hibiscus. So now it's time for some regular ice to make this drink pretty cold. Okay, so this is my favorite part because this is going to give this even more flavor, like lemon flavor. So we're going to take a strawberry, I'm going to take the tip off, and we're going to cut it. So we're going to have itty bitty strawberry pieces and it's going to look, it's going to taste really good in the drink. So I'm putting this in our drink. Alright, so I just added in some Swedish fish and now I have my pre-cut lemon. We're going to put this lemon right here. And I also have a pre-cut strawberry which we're going to add right here. Now I'm going to add our little umbrella. I love these little umbrellas, they're so cute. And now we're adding our little lollipop. And now, everyone's favorite part, this is the best part, adding our dry ice. Are you guys ready? Alright, let's do this. Alright, And it's finished! Look how pretty this looks, guys! This is like the best summer drink ever. Like, you're gonna be at the pool, and everybody's gonna wanna have your drink. Like, everyone. And people are gonna ask, where'd you get that from? And you're gonna be like, I made it. And it tastes so good. All right, let's do a taste test. Ready? Tastes just like strawberry lemonade. If you're a big fan of lemonade, definitely make this drink because it's so good. And the, the little decorations, it's just so cute. I love it. But yeah, guys, these are the drinks that I just made, and I'm so happy. All right, guys, well, these are the final results of my cute, super cute sugar factory drinks. And guys, these things get so frozen, like the bottom of this cup is full of ice, but they taste so, so good, like way better than Sugar Factory. Like take this from a person that has been there. No shame to Sugar Factory though, I love them. But these drinks are obviously way better and like they're just so much more refreshing. You guys should definitely like really, really try them. Like I'm being 100% honest here, they are so good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, comment down any other videos or summer videos that you guys want me to do with my summer series which I still don't have a name for it so if you guys have a name also comment it comment it down below but yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye